Hello food fans, you uh, hungry? Hungry is a hungry man perhaps? You want to have a hungry man meal like a chicken? Well, we can do that, but what if you're a hungrier man? We'll add a banquet to your hungry man so you have chicken nuggets plus chicken. And so you've got uh, all kinds of food here plus uh, vegetables and potatoes. But we've also got desserts included. They're not a secret. So, let's get started. And we'll eat the coleslaw with a big spoon here. I like a lot of coleslaw. It's made with cabbage and carrots. Mmm. Eat the coleslaw first while I wait for the uh, microwave to finish the two main courses. More coleslaw. And a lot of food here, fresh out of the oven, hot oven. And some of the food does get hotter than uh, other items on the menu. I have chicken nuggets, macaroni and cheese, and a brownie in the banquet meal. And uh, the chicken nuggets uh, are cooked one minute less than the rest of the meal. And in the big meal from uh, Hungry Man, I have some chicken, chicken fried chicken steaks with gravy and I've got uh, mashed potatoes and gravy and I've got uh, some sort of applesauce type dessert and green beans so we shall get started and I will uh, not uh, begin before it cools off just a little bit makes it a little bit safer and the food tastes good and also the processed food is as I've noted before has a lot of sodium in it, whether that's good or bad. Yeah, I guess it depends on the person who's consuming said meal. I remember in the army they used to give us salt tablets, salt pills, in case we were marching on a parade field, real hot asphalt, and uh, soldiers would fall down. They'd faint from the combination of heat and I guess a lack of sodium. But uh, I was fortunate I never fainted on the parade field. I did get to march in the St. Patrick's Day Parade in New York City one time when I was in the Army, Army Reserve. Mmm. Mashed potatoes are good. Nice salty fla flavor. Chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets taste very good. And I would say they're probably equal in taste to what you get from a fast food place that sells chicken nuggets. Green beans. The Hungry Man meal, incidentally, is uh, 16 ounces. And the banquet meal is less than half that. It's a little less than 8 ounces. Get some of the chicken fried steak items here. I also get some gravy while I'm at it. Now we'll talk a little bit about the entertainment world. One of the items I saw this past week that is kind of interesting. It's not a uh, definite case that will a legal case that will set the trend for the future, but it could possibly raise some questions and has to do with artificial intelligence. If you create a movie, for example, or a TV show or a YouTube video, who owns the copyright on that video? Now, if it's public domain, say like if you're singing a Stephen Foster song or oh, Susanna, something like that, that's public domain, everybody can perform that without paying anyone anything because the copyright has run out. But suppose you have a brand new artificial intelligence movie where you spoke to your uh, uh, artificial intelligence software and said uh, make me a movie about uh, a bank robber who has a funny getaway scene and then the artificial intelligence comes up with what kind of car the guy drives, what city he's driving through, what uh, outfit he's wearing and so on 
and one judge ruled that artificial intelligence projects, movies, and TV shows, and so on, cannot be copyrighted. Now that doesn't mean that's going to be the ruling forever. Macaroni and cheese. And I was talk about some movies. One that I think did involve artificial intelligence, the most recent, the newest movie I've seen is Cocaine Bear, C-O-C-A-I-N-E-B-E-A-R, Cocaine Bear. And as funny as the title is, the movie's even funnier. And it has the most realistic looking bear bad guy, monster, uh, I guess it's a grizzly bear, I'm not sure if it's a grizz grizzly bear or brown bear. It looks real. And it was, I'm guessing, partly done with artificial intelligence. Does that mean that the person who came up with all the rest of the ideas does not have copyright control? I do not know. Time to get some root beer. Get my name out of the way, huh? This is Barks, B A R Q apostrophe S. Have you noticed a lot of uh, mo <coughs> movies, especially? have exclamation points after the title, they'll have airplane. What if they did that with foods, like barks, they've got, a, uh, <coughs> they've got an apostrophe in there. What if they put a couple of exclamation points? Time for root beer. Very cold out of the refrigerator. It's supposed to be about 95 degrees today, I think, for a high that's Fahrenheit. And it's a uh, Nashville area. show you a couple of my movie collections. There are a lot of collections available on DVD macaroni, 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 macaroni. Banquet and Hungry Man Meals complement each other because I'm getting a dessert with this meal. The uh, banquet meal has sort of a dessert with uh, an applesauce entry. Let's see what that tastes like. That's good. Everything is good. Hope you are doing well. My cats are enjoying life. It is surprising what uh, kinds of meals you can get with microwave cooking. 
and it uh, competes with making it at home from scratch all by yourself. If you have a, far a farm, with a garden, perhaps some uh, featured items growing, whether it's carrots or potatoes or whatever, you can grow a pretty nice meal on a farm if you spend the time. Of all the foods in the Hungry Man meals, I think the green beans are the least exciting. Probably good for you. It also seems humid. <clears throat> Speaking of which, uh, my friends in California Southern California having all the rain right now, plus uh, an earthquake and all the aftershocks that are associated with earthquakes. And an earthquake of 5.1, that's big enough that it could result in some deaths. So do be careful. In California, there's uh, not a lot you can do to predict exactly when the earthquake will come, but after 5.1, that could be a um, foreshock for something bigger in the near future. Just be cautious, have a plan for getting together with the family uh, and have a contact outside of the city that's affected by the earthquake. Have uh, you are in Southern California, maybe one of your friends lives in Chicago, call that person and tell them where you're going to be so other people in your family will also call that person to tell them where they are and where they intend to go. I felt one really big earthquake, and that was the Northridge quake 1994, I believe it was. January 17th, I think, 1994. But, uh, about 50 people died in that one. Something most people don't know about earthquakes. The earthquake doesn't just shake. It moves. Now, what's the difference between shaking and moving? It's shaking and it moves. When it moves, it moves in a particular direction. So the ground that you're standing on might not just be going up and down, but it's going to the north. Not, not by much uh, an inch or two, maybe even uh, three feet in some places, in some cases, in some uh, earthquakes. But the direction of the movement of the ground has an effect on um, a person's uh, chances of being in the wrong place and being harmed. If you have a mobile home that's long, shaped something like a bus, or it's longer than it is wide, if the movement of the ground is going in the same direction that the bus is pointed, then the bus is probably not going to tip over. But if the bus is parked in opposition to the direction that the movement of the land is going, then the uh, bus or, or mobile home would have a tendency to fall over. I would stay far away from uh, the uh, 
parking structures. The, the, the structures that are built for parking cars don't have as much support as a building that was made to house humans. Chicken nugget time. And I'll get some root beer. I'm glad you could stop by today. A couple of my favorite collections of DVDs are on these packages that have eight movies. I think it's got two discs in there, four movies on each disc. And some of the eight are good, not all of the eights are good, but uh, Captive Comedies. Captive Comedies, really good. Um, Lone Star State of Mind, I like The Freshman, I like Hollywood Homicide, I like A, a Fine Mess, I like And I'm In It. Uh, Hudson Hawk I didn't care for. Cops and Robertsons is okay. Excess Baggage was a lot of fun. And Life Without Dick, that is a very funny movie. And most people, I think, have not seen that movie. another eight movie collection and it has the same initials as captive comedies this one's criminally clueless criminally clueless and one of the movies I watch a lot is a oh, big trouble I've watched that a lot uh, what is this uh, Another stakeout I didn't like, Disorganized Crime. Disorganized Crime is a fine, funny movie, I think. I recommend it. The Pink Panther collection has lots of uh, videos, and there's only about four of them that I actually like. And uh, I'd recommend read the uh, IMDB page to get an idea of whether the movie is good or bad before you go running out to buy it because Pink Panther, the collection, is very expensive and there are only four of them that I watch a lot. Chicken fried steak. No complaints. And the best uh, collection, I think, I won't bother to hold it up, it's uh, Alfred Hitchcock movies. There are several different collections, and I recommend getting the collections that have Rear Window, North by Northwest, Psycho. There was a time when Alfred Hitchcock was making some really good, fun, scary, um, mysterious type movies.
I never did work with Alfred Hitchcock. This is a good meal, very filling. If you live in a um, sorority or fraternity or whatever, when you're doing the cooking, and if you have two or three microwaves or a microwave in a conventional oven, you could fix up enough of these to uh, keep them warm enough for a while so that everybody can sit down to a hot meal. Nobody will complain about your cooking. Although some people can find things to complain about. The gravy is very good in the Hungry Man boneless chicken. The meal. history. Now we will concentrate <laughs> first on the root beer. <clears throat> <That like it. laughs> I like root beer. Now for the dessert, it's not a secret. I'm going to start with the applesauce and then move over to the brownie that comes with the low-cost banquet meal. Applesauce is about two spoons. Just two spoonfuls of applesauce and it's good. Now the brownie. And I know these are good. <clears throat> Probably not on the list of health food items. <clears throat> what is your favorite health food? <clears throat> Mine would be cabbage. I forgot to make a cabbage salad today, but I've got some coleslaw that I'm going to have later on.
a brownie. <clears throat> Tastes like a brownie, and it is a good brownie. Thank you for coming over and visiting. Always good to see you. And thank you for watching.